for three spaces are on the track and pretty into the purse. These are two-year-olds. Racing a mile, a purse of $2,000. Feel of eight, there are no changes. The one Todd's race, owned, trained, and driven by Charles Little of Sunbury. Number two, cherished place, owned by Stephen Brown of Lexington, Kentucky. Chad Norman trains for Jeff Fout. Three, Tupaz Sabra, owned and trained by John Burks of Tiffin Del Millerump. The four, Real Rocky, owned by Wilson Witten of Tamarack, Florida, and Tony Clyer of Louisville, Kentucky. Wilson Witten trains. Mike Wilder drives. The five, R Star Lane, owned by Leonard Buckner of Mount Eaton. Tom Brinkerhoff trains for Jim Perry, Jr. Number six, Purple Socks, owned by Laura and Paul Baker of Galloway. Jim Arlich, Jr. trains for Don Irvin, Jr. Seven is Carol G, owned by Jack Ader of Clarksburg. Dan Ader trains. Ryan Holton drives. And number eight is R.K. Scooten Beamer, owned by Karen and Richard Graham of Zanesfield. Richard Graham is the uh, trainer. Art Ship Jr. is in the sulky. When play show perfecta and uh, pick three wagering. Post time, eight minutes, eight. And the fourth race, two-year-old Pacers are all in behind the gate. They're on the back stretch, approaching the start. And uh, they're off, and it's Cherish Place from the inside, uh, sprinting quickly for the lead from the outside. And second goes Carol G, and from off the pylons, it's Todd's race. Angling in fourth comes our star lane to the outside, racing five is real rocky. Parked to the outside, sixth are Scoot and Beamer. Up the red advancing is seventh now. Topaz Sombra, the trailer eighth, is Purple Sox. Near the first quarter mile marker, and on the front here with a lead, Carol G calling the shots. The opening quarter, 28 and 2. Holton has Carol G in the front here by two. Cherish Place follows her second. She's followed by Todd's Ray's third, and he's got two lengths on our star lane fourth. Then it's another three lengths, five, Real Rocky for the back sixth to Topaz Sombra, followed by R.K. Scootenbeamer and the trailer, the gray, Purple Socks. Racing towards the half, and on the front, it's Carol G., the eight to one shot showing the way here. Cherish Place heavily favored here in the fourth, right there racing second, half in 59 and three. Moving to the back stretch, and now first up to the outside comes Todd's Rays, but she's showing no progress here. At the rail and racing, fourth is Real Rocky. Outside and five are Star Lane. Out of the outside, sixth comes R.K. Scoot and Beamer as they move down the back stretch. Curl G clings to the lead here as Cherished Place applying heavy pressure. And now to the outside, our Star Lane is swinging three wide here. A big move for Perry as they move into the final turn. Three quarters, 129 and one. But the battle continues to the front here. Carol G, the inside advantage. Cherish Place is there looking to wear her down. Our star lane and between horses is Todd's Rays. Turning for home now, last and an eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch, and it's Cherish Place. Puts a nose in front, takes a lead here. Todd's Rays of the outside is showing some pace. And Todd's Rays of the outside getting up late here. Todd's Rays, 11 to 1 in 115 and 1. Here in the winner's circle, winner of the fourth of one, Todd's Rays, a two-year-old Ohio bred son of Glenn Eagle from the Armbro Alert Mayor, Marciana. Owned and trained and driven by Charles Little of Sunbury. Todd's Rays, in his first career start, earns a mark tonight to 158 and one fifth. Order of finish, the one Todd's Rays, the winner, Cherish Place 2, Topaz Sombra 8, Real Rocky 5, R Star Lane 4, Purple Sox 6, Carol G 3, and R K Scoot and Beamer 7. 1, 2, 8, 5, 4, 6, 3, and 7. In the upcoming fifth race, the 8 horse Oak Lawn Carrot has been scratched sick. Number 8, Oak Lawn Carrot is out. Win play show perfecta and twin trifecta wagering. The twin tri carryover from Saturday evening at $7,759. At Northfield Park now, lost then two minutes, lost then two at Northfield Park. 